Captain, we have a message coming in from Admiral Sanderson at Galactic Command Headquarters. Open the channel. Greetings, Captain Tempest. I trust all is well on Galantis. It appears that you are very well on your way. However, I want you to know that there is talk about cutting your mission short. Short, sir? Is there some problem? There is no problem, Captain. I just need to let you know that the Volantis is one of the ships that is being considered for a major overhaul. Really, sir? I've heard some talk about the new drive systems, but I thought that they would be in a new line of vessels. Yes. There have been some major developments since the Volantis is still a late model patrol ship, Galactic Command has decided to refit several in the series with the improvements instead of building new ships. I see, sir. Kind of a way to save on some costs. Well, these are hard times in the whole galaxy. In the meantime, though, there is a matter that Galactic Command needs you to look into. Aye, sir. As you know, Galactic Command has been buying important resources from the planet Cornesia for many years. Yes, Admiral. I was stationed there as an ensign many years ago as an inspector before all of that became automated. Well, there was recently a change in leadership there. The Queen Loyon is now the leader of that planet. Since she has been in power, though, we have been seeing quite a bit of unrest on the planet. Cornesia was always such a nice place, a peaceful planet. Do we know why this is going on? That's your mission, Captain. The coordinates have been sent for Cornesia. We tried to arrange a meeting with Queen Plo Floyon for you, but her count hasn't responded, so maybe going ahead and sending the Volantis might help. We'll do our best, Admiral Sanderson. Yes, that's what I expect you to do. Galactic Command Headquarters, out. We have received the coordinates and are ready to initiate. Very good, Yarba. Bugs, everything going okay down in engineering? Hi, Captain. We're in good shape here, sir. Did I hear the Admiral talking about some upgrades, though? You know, this stellar drive could use a lot of improvements. Do you think there's any chance that we could be getting one of those new interstellar drives? Well, Bugs, I know how you love those things, and it doesn't hurt to hope. Now, just make sure the drive we have gets us there where we're going. Yarba, take us to Cornesia. Hi, Captain. Course laid and engaging. Captain, we are in orbit above Cornesia. Very good, Yarva. See if we can make contact with Queen, Queen Ployon's court. You know, I don't remember anyone by that name in the royal family when I was there. But then that was a long time ago. Sir, there seems to be a lot of communications going on, but most of it is on secure channels that I can't decipher. It sounds like a lot of military type encoding. Military encoding? That can't be right, Yarba. Cordicia has just a small a defensive force. They always rely on Galactic Command for protection from any major threats. That's what it sounds like to me, sir, but I'm just not familiar with that particular encoding pattern. Bugs, our weapons online and ready and kicks, we need them. I've got a funny feeling about this. Hi, Captain. I've known long enough to trust your hunches, so I will continue to make sure that everything is ready should we need it. Captain, I have Queen Ployon on the communicator. She seems to be protesting a bit about this, but I have her. Open the channel. Greetings, Clean Ployon. 
I am Captain Tempest of the Galactic Patrol Ship Volantis. Captain Tem Tempest, I do not appreciate this interruption, but I would appreciate it if you would take your ship and leave my planet. We have no need for galactic command here. But Queen Ployon, your planet has a long history uh, with the Galactic Empire. And besides, we've come just to help. We need no help, especially from Galactic Command. Maybe we don't need your alliance anymore. It is our understanding that there have been some problems on Cornicia. Nothing we can't handle. You're just upset that we are not as willing to provide your materials like we did in the past. Well, that has come up. Well, we have decided to provide many of our resources to someone else. Someone I am not at liberty to disclose to Galactic Command. I understand, Queen Ployon, but if there is one thing that I can... Maybe you can help me with. Oh, alright. What is it? I was stationed here many years ago, and I must admit that your name is not familiar among the royal families that I knew back then. That is not surprising, as I have spent many years with an uncle in the Alamod system. The Alamod Empire? Yes, that is correct, but I am now ending this transmission. If we need anything from Galactic Command, we will know how to reach you. Goodbye. She seems to be very fun to deal with. Yes. She grew up in the Alamod Empire. That's very interesting. Why is that, Captain? There have been rumors of the Alamod Empire, which has been a very militaristic uh, system, building up its forces to expand throughout the galaxy. They could be a danger for a galactic command. You think there might be a connection? I don't know, but I wonder if Galactic Command knows about her connection to the Alamod Empire. Queen Polyon, I don't think that you should have told the Galactic Command Captain that you lived in the Alamod Empire. Don't be silly, I said nothing of us sending our resources to the Alamod Empire. That is something that we have tried to keep confidential. And now you have gone and broadcasted it to a Galactic Command Captain. Well, maybe you better destroy that ship before they, they get away from here. That may actually not be a bad idea. Well, if you're so worried about it, go get it. I will arrange it now. Good day, Queen Bloyon. Yarba, return us to our original course. I think that we've done all that we can do here for now. However, I'm sure that Galactic Command will be interested in that tidbit about Queen Ployon having an association with the Alamod Empire. The course is laid in, Captain. You think it's that significant about the Alamods? Just call it a gut feeling, but Galactic Command Intelligence Service should be made aware of this. Captain? We have four vessels on the intercept course with us. Interesting. Are they Cornetian? Their signatures seem to be Cornetian fighters, but they seem to be highly modified over what is standard for Cornetian vessels. Raise the shields. Is Queen Ploy on that determined that we leave by sending a fighter escort? Sir, they're firing weapons. No damage. All absorbed by the electro shields. Bugs, report. Captain, if that's all they have, we could take this all day. Apparently, they've never encountered a Galactic Command patrol ship. Captain, we have a Cornician battle cruiser coming into range now. Now they seem to be taking us a bit more serious. Search charging weapons. Target and fire. Direct hit, sir. Okay, enough fun. We have a report to make. Garba, take us out of here. Aye, sir. Admiral, there are markings of the Alamod Empire involvement all over this mission. I really think that they are up to some no good. 
Captain, your concerns will, will, will be noted, Captain. But Galactic Command has no immediate concerns about the Al Alamed Empire. There are some planets there that were historically quite aggressive, but most of the members of the Empire are more artistic than militaristic. Yes, Admiral Sanderson, but the ships that attacked us had technology beyond that of the Cornetians. If there is an alliance there, and they are getting the resources of the Cornetians, it could be a problem for the Galactic Command and actually the whole galaxy. Again, your concerns will be noted, Captain. At the moment, however, it just seems that Galactic Command has lost an important trade partner. And that's all. Galactic Command Headquarters out. He knows more than he's telling us. I know it. I don't doubt that, Captain. I certainly sensed a great deal of deception in his words, but a great deal of worry as well. Well, I guess that is above our pay grade. So let's get back on course and see to what adventure it takes us next. Aye, Captain. Resuming course. That is not surprising as I have spent many years with an Uncle Alamad. <laughs> <laughs>